All right, uh, so, I'm here right. with Michael here at VZR. VZR. Yes, yes. Tell us, Michael, what what uh, we, uh, what uh, your my pleasure. We're a relatively new company. This is our second Canjam so far. We debuted our company and our first product, the Model One, the VZR Model One here uh, last Canjam, and so we are. Um, our whole philosophy is to build a high quality headphone that is approachable from a price standpoint. This product retails for $349, which is actually a surprising price here at Canjam. Because there are headphones that cost 10 times more or more. Right. Uh, but what we're trying to do is, um, even at this price point, with some great engineering and some you know, uh, care in terms of acoustics, we feel that you can get great performance for this price. For example, we have uh, 30 dynamic drivers, but they are customized so that, you know, you know we, we made some changes to them so that they could perform the cars. But also, they're very closely matched within a half a dB across the frequency range between the left and right. And so what that means is you get very, very consistent sound on the left and right, which improves stereo uh, you know, separation. And we actually have the world's first uh, acoustic lens, which I can show you here. Yeah. Pardon me, sir. I'm going to grab one of these. And um, if you take a look, this is a very unique uh, and a headphone. And so you can see how it's contoured to your ear. So you can see like this pattern here is uh, goes along the, the edge of the pinna. And this pushes sound closer to the ear canal. And what that does is it improves the response uh, or the the transfer of sound from the driver to the ear. Mm -hmm. And this creates a little bit um, a better linearity. It helps the driver actually function more like a, a piston mm -hmm. with, in a smoother way, a, a, with more linearization. Mm -hmm. and, and that actually improves a lot of things. There's like 10 things going on with this simple widget, this acoustic lens. Is it acoustic waveguide as well? I mean, it, 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 this in is a way, 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 in a way, yeah. 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 Okay. So they're special, basically they're like little apertures which push out sound in different parts of the ear. Right. And what we found is that it greatly improves the openness of the headphones. So this is completely closed back. So oh, closed back okay. design. interesting. And so it almost makes it sound like an open back, mm -hmm. despite it being closed back. The so, sound image, I mean, the, uh, the yeah, imaging and sound stages, image. right? Yeah, it's really, really, um, wider sound stage and what we found is um, that you know when you're playing 3d content for example like binaural audio it, it renders very well and I would love now that you're interested in bi you talk about binaural yeah uh, when you play binaural content on it it just sounds more uh, natural you know how some headphones even when you're playing binaural content doesn't quite have the full 360 spherical sort of effect right. for a lot of reasons but you know with this headphone we feel like it, it greatly improves that um, that immersion that for, from 3d or binaural audio right so now here's a little secret uh we actually have a lot of people we're, we're, we're not telling people about this right off the bat for a reason you see this hole right here yeah this is for a boom mic a ah. boom microphone ah so it's for a gaming. removable boom mic. Yes, so you can use this for gaming. Right. And the reason why we removed it here is because people walk by, ah, it's a gaming head. Right, right, interested. exactly. Well, we wanted to sort of turn that idea up on its head by basically proving that we can build a relatively affordable headphone that can be used not just for gaming, but music listening or right. other things. Right. Now, Mike, and now it, it rings a bell in my head now yeah. when it, because I, I'm now for sure I know that I've been uh, watching videos about you yeah, and uh, reading yeah. about your... Uh, more and more people are starting yeah, this, that's yeah. right. In terms yeah. of driving these headphones, I mean, is that are they hard to drive? No, or? they're 32 ohm. You know? So they are. So they can be driven for me. Driven by joystick on right. Xbox or the controller on Xbox. Yeah. The phone. Uh, yeah. As you know, like an Xbox controller uses AA batteries, you know, and it can for 30 hours. So it's very efficient. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, it, 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 and what's nice about it is. Uh, you know, when you're listening to sound for many hours, you know, gamers play for hours sometimes. Right. You can turn down the volume and experience uh, that same sort of linear response. Yeah. Uh, kind of a low distortion. You got Absolutely. Your... Very low distortion. I'm very intrigued. We'd love to get sort of your ideas and thoughts on this. In fact, I highly recommend maybe you try this system out. Yeah. And then this is single-ended. This is balanced. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, so and, yeah. And and they are Feel familiar. Free. They are uh, the liquid spark. From, the liquid uh, spark. Yeah, right. yeah. These are from uh, Mono, Mono, uh, Mono Price. Mono Price. Right. Yeah. Right. 
very well, feel free. Yeah, I, guess yeah. I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much, Michael.